Hey everybody, welcome back to the sewing channel. Today I'm here to announce the 3K giveaway winner. I was, um, I had a minor scare because Rafflecopter somehow deleted the entire giveaway and I started freaking out and had a small mental breakdown, but I was able to get that squared away and get it reinstated. So then I was able to pick the winner. Um, and so I am happy to announce Angie Stoner. You are the winner of the 3K giveaway. All of the fun stuff that I included in the video, I will be sending over to you. So do me a favor and email me at so gnarly at gmail. That's S-E-W-G-N-A-R-L-Y at gmail. And I will get your shipping information and send out the box of all the physical items that you won. And then I will get your gift certificates over to you for all the other winnings. Um, also, I am going to be showing you the new Fabric Funhouse prints that I just received. And um, yes, that's about it. Enjoy the, enjoy the prints. Little kitty needs to move. So these are the new prints. Apparently out of the box. These are the new prints from Fabric Funhouse. They are exclusive to Fabric Funhouse. And they were designed by Fabric Funhouse and the owner's sister-in-law, I believe. I've been waiting to see these. I got to see a picture of them before they were printed. But, you know, pictures never do it justice. Tilt you down so you can see. So we got three packages. Let me open this one. So Fabric Funhouse just started carrying Edge Coat. If you're familiar with it, then you know that it's um, the super popular brand is Giardini and it's from Italy. And so they have these color sets now at Fabric Funhouse. With all of these super fun colors of edge coat. So I have seen on Lynn's Handmade where she mixes some of them together because you can see they're all in this the same color realm, the tops and bottoms, they correlate. But you can mix like the green, the bright green and the bright blue to make turquoise or you know the orange and the black to make a dark orange. The burnt sienna maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to try these out. I usually only use the beige and the black, so this should be fun. I add some color pops to the edges of my corks. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is just information on the paint. Ooh, I guess they make a lot more colors. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So Talia and Michelle, sorry, Talia and Michelle um, sent me some wax so that I can wax some cotton and show you guys how to do that. So this is the wax that they offer. It's called C4 wax. Um, a lot of wax cotton and canvas is waxed with beeswax and other types of wax, but so this is not beeswax. Um, so technically, technically it qualifies as vegan, which is nice, especially for those of us, like my business is PETA certified vegan, so I don't have to change that certification because the wax in their wax cotton and canvas is vegan. So let's see what one of these guys looks like. Yep, looks just like one would expect. It looks like a bar of wax. It looks like kind of a bar of soap. It's just got like a filmy feel to it, which is not surprising. 
So yeah, one of these days I will wax up some cotton and show you guys how to do that. Oh, and then this is, let's see if I can get the focus. This is the base coat. So you have to put this down on your edges. So like if I was gonna edge paint this wallet, I would put base coat down first. And they suggest at least one coat of this, if not two, and then you do your color coat. Um, I'll do a quick video on that sometime too. I need to update my, or I need to make a new video for the, how I do my edges for my YouTube channel. There is one in my sewing group if you need to see that ASAP, but I will make a new video with the types of glue that I use, where I use them, and then also how to use edge coat. And then, oh, who else is in here? Oh, sandpaper it's for the edges. Oh, cool, and she sent me an applicator tool. That's awesome. I didn't realize I was gonna get this too. So the one that I normally use, I just got off of e or, um, Amazon and it just rolls. It does kind of give me guff because sometimes like these caps unscrew both on both ends and sometimes if they're screwed all the way in, then this roller won't roll. And you can see I get goopy um, edge paint up in here and then that'll stop it to not, or that'll cause it to not roll as well. Um, but yeah, so this one is kind of a pain in the arse, but it works, it gets the job done, but I'm excited to try this one out because it is not on a, or not in a tube like that. So it's just free, freestanding, so it won't, it'll, I don't, it should be a lot easier to use. And then this, I assume you can use this to clean the edges. Um, I've not used this on edge coat, but we shall see. And now for the cork, what we're all here for. So as soon as I saw this succulent cork, I knew that I had to order it. So I went ahead and put in an order for a size XL, and it is really pretty. It's a, it's muted, so it's like a really subtle coloration, which I prefer. Um, I I like bright colors, but usually just in my hair, as you can see. Um, and I tend to not use a whole lot of bright colors to create with. I'd say the brightest cork that I use is the Aqua. Um, and then the mint, of course, those are super bright, but I tend not to use those brighter colors that Fabric Funhouse offers super often. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just, I just am really drawn to these more subdued colorations. So this one certainly fits the bill. This will go perfectly with the olive green cork. And then if you did want to brighten it up, you could probably get away with, well, definitely one of their orange corks. And I'm thinking you could probably use mint, too. I would imagine that this would go with most corks that they offer, and then even the natural as well. So that is the succulents. And then they did send some samples so that I could see the other corks that they had made. Okay, so this one is called the Melanie. This is the one that Tilia's sister-in-law designed. So it is flowers, like kind of sketchy flowers, hand sketched flowers. And the colors in this are fairly similar to the succulent, except instead of it being more green, it is this tan color in the background. But I love these pops of blue on these little tiny flowers. That will match the aqua really well. Let's see. Let's see, I'll show you guys. 
Oh yeah, perfect match. So, let's see the aqua matches these little tiny blue flowers. I think that will be super cute. This looks like if you use this for the top of a mini box toe and this on the bottom, oof, that'll be so nice. I love the delicate line work of the drawing. And then the, of course, the muted subdued coloration is on point for me. All right, let's see what else we've got here. So these are, I can't remember the exact name that they're calling this one. Um, I can't remember, but they sent me a sample in both colorways. They're both so, so pretty and really soft. This printing is not as glossy as this burnt red or like brick color printing is. This is more of a matte printing and this is more glossy, which I think is kind of cool. You might be able to pick up on that, see how glossy it is. And then this one, not as glossy. So that's a pretty neat difference. And then here are the macrame knots. These are super fun. I love the color of this purple one. It's kind of light purple on the inside and then dark purple on the line work. And then this looks like gray and black to me, but I feel like you could pull it over to the green side if you used olive or a darker green, the forest green or hunter green that they have. These are both super pretty too. And then this is the one that everybody commented on when I posted about their sale or their new ones these sunflowers. This is super vibrant, super shiny. It has a lot of detail in the sunflower centers. And the sunflowers, I don't know if you can pick up on it, but the sunflowers are actually two different colors. One is more orange and the other ones are more yellow. And then the green is kind of like a, a lime green with a gray wash over it. So like a a muted lime green and then there's a darker olive green as well so this one looks like it would make a great wristlet clutch or a tall wallet this would be a fun outer for a tall wallet too so this is my most recent haul this is my introduction to their new exclusive prints be sure to tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite and um, if you drop some project ideas, maybe I can use some of these and whip up some projects and make some videos with that. So be sure to let me know below what patterns you wanna see me make with all of these new samples. Um, I know for this one, I'm gonna be making a fun makeup bag. So keep an eye out for that video coming up soon. And yeah, let's get to selling. So thank you so much for watching this video and being on my channel and participating in the giveaway. Uh, we had over 3,000 entries. It was by far the biggest giveaway that I have ever hosted. And I am so glad that um, all the other companies participated and donated prizes. Um, I hope that you guys had fun participating and playing along. And I hope that you will continue to follow and not just unfollow all those businesses because the giveaway is over. Uh, because they do have amazing, incredible products that, again, I stand behind, use myself, and just cannot speak highly enough of. Um, so hopefully soon we can get to another big milestone and do an even bigger giveaway. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, you can click the little circle. It's going to be around here somewhere. Um, and that will subscribe you to my channel. You can also click the little bell and that will notify you whenever I, um, add a new video and then you'll be the first to see them. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of the love and support and the comments and the shares and just the interaction. Um, I'll, I hope that all of you guys are out there staying safe and healthy and having a wonderful day wherever you are.